Hey everyone, get ready to level up your coding. Today, we're diving into some, some super cool tools that'll make your coding smoother and your project shine. Whether you're just starting out or you're a seasoned pro, these tools are gonna be your new best friends. Let's jump right in and check them out. Project number one, next and progress bar. Have you ever been on a website and wondered if it's actually loading or if you just missed the click? Enter the next end progress bar, a nifty little tool created by Skyline 77 on GitHub that's all about improving your site's user experience. It's like having a friendly guide telling you, hey, I'm working on it every time you navigate to a new page. So what's the deal with this progress bar? Well, it's designed to work seamlessly with Next.js projects which is a popular framework for building websites. It's super compatible, fitting in nicely with the different ways Next.js lets you organize your files. Whether you're using the app or pages directory structure, this progress bar plays nice with both. Setting it up is a breeze. With a quick install using NPM or Yarn, you're only a few steps away from having a slick progress bar. You get these two components, app progress bar and pages progress bar. Just pop them into your layout component and voila, you've got yourself a progress indicator that tags along as your users explore different parts of your site. But we're not just talking about any plain old progress bar here. You can make this one your own. Want a skinny little line or a thick band across the top? You decide with the height property. And the color? Match it to your site's theme to keep everything looking on point. Now, for those who like to take it up a notch, the next end progress bar lets you dive deep. You can tinker with more advanced options like how zippy you want the animation to be or how it behaves on your site. For those details, you might need to peek at the end progress library that's powering the whole thing. In short, the next end progress bar is like a cherry on top of your user experience. It reassures your visitors that things are happening, making their wait time feel shorter and keeping them engaged. So go ahead and give your Next.js app that professional touch with this smooth little progress bar. Project number two, Miss CSS. In the world of web development, there's something quite magical about turning your stylish CSS into functional React components. That's exactly what Miss CSS brings to the table. Created by the innovative Tipicode on GitHub, Miss CSS is like a secret passage that connects the world of style sheets directly to the land of React components. Let's break it down. Usually, you'd build your React components in JavaScript and dress them up in separate CSS files, right? Well, Mist CSS flips the script. With its clever approach, you can create atomic components. Those are the basic building blocks of your interface, like buttons and input fields, directly within your CSS file. You might be wondering how it all works. Mist CSS uses special directives that you can mix into your CSS classes. It's like sprinkling a bit of magic dust on them. The Mist CSS compiler then reads your enchanted CSS and poof, transforms it into fully functional React components. All you need to do is import them into your project and they're ready to use, just like that. Now, for the best part, you're not just creating simple components. With Miss CSS, you get to fine tune every aspect of your component's look and behavior right there in your style sheet. And you're doing this with the full might of CSS at your fingertips, which means endless possibilities for customization. Sure, there's a bit of a learning curve to get the, get the hang of the Miss CS syntax, but once you do, you could be crafting your UI faster than ever before. Imagine defining buttons with hover effects, inputs with validation styles, and more, all in one place and in a language that you already love, good old CSS. Miss CSS might be a new kid on the block with more features and improvements likely on the way, but it's already a game changer for those willing to try out new methods in React UI development. So if you're curious about how you can streamline your workflow and maybe even discover a new way of thinking about UIs, give Mist CSS a whirl. Project number three, slide over card. Designing sleek setup screens just got a whole lot simpler thanks to the innovative project slide over card brought to life on GitHub by the Savvy Jube PS. The Swift UI gem is like the secret ingredient to crafting those intuitive onboarding experiences that users love. At its core, Slide Over Card is all about those neat cards that pop up on your screen when you're setting up a new app or device. They guide you through the steps with a blend of visuals and text, making everything feel like a breeze. Slide Over Card gives you the tools to create these setup cards right in your Swift UI projects. Here's why slide over card is a big deal. It's all about focus. By using a card style presentation, it narrows down the user's attention to just the important bits, one step at a time. It's like having a friendly guide in your pocket, pointing exactly where you need to look. 
Plus, it's not just a pretty face. You can customize these cards to make them fit your app style like a glove. From the height and color to even the dismissal process, Slide Over Card bends to your will. Using Slide Over Card is a walk in the park. After you've added it to your project, just whip up a Slide Over Card view, tweak it to your liking, and voila, your setup screen is ready to impress. It's that kind of simplicity that can make your development process as smooth as silk. But what really makes Slide Over Card shine is its potential to enhance the user experience. A well-designed setup screen can transform the first-time user's journey from a task to a treat. It's like the difference between getting lost in a maze and strolling through a well-designed park. One is frustrating and the other is a delightful adventure. Still fresh from the oven, Slide Over Card is growing and evolving, but it's already a strong contender in the Swift UI toolkit. It's crafted specifically for those introductory moments. So if you're looking to make a great first impression with your app, Slide Over Card is your go-to. Just remember, it's all about mastering the art of Swift UI and understanding the nuances that come with it. Project number four, previous step right up to the previous project on GitHub, where the savvy team behind it has conjured up a content management system, CMS, that's like a dream come true for Nux.js developers. Picture this, a world where managing your website's content is so smooth and intuitive, it's practically a joyride. Pruvius is laser focused on being the ultimate sidekick for Nux.js, an environment where JavaScript's coolness factor shines bright. This CMS snugly fits with Nux.js like puzzle pieces, ensuring that your web app and content management system play nice together. No more wrestling with mismatched platforms or square pegs in round holes. With Pruvius, you're getting a tailored experience that feels as if it's made just for you. Dive into Pruvius, and you'll find a CMS that's a breeze to integrate. Whether you're a Nux.js newbie or a seasoned pro, Pruvius greets you with open arms. It's designed to be a natural extension of your Nux.js project, so you can manage your app's content with ease. From crafting blog posts to tweaking your homepage, it's all done with the smoothness of a hot knife through butter. The real cherry on top? Pruvius is a celebration of all the great features of Nux.js. It taps into the framework's superpowers like data fetching and routing, making your content management not just effortless, but also powerful. Think of Pruvius as the Robin to your Batman, the Watson to your Sherlock. It's the trusty sidekick that amplifies your strengths. Yet, as with any superhero team, there's a learning curve. Pruvius, while user-friendly, still requires you to get to grips with its setup and Nux.js. But fear not. Once you do, it's smooth sailing. Pruvius is perfect for those looking to streamline their Nux.js content management without the extra fluff. In a nutshell, Pruvius is like that friend who just gets you. It's built for Nux.js developers by people who truly understand the framework. If you want a CMS that fits into your project like a glove and makes content management a walk in the park, Pruvius is your ticket to a hassle-free ride. Project number five, JNV. Get ready to turn JSON navigation from a headache into a cakewalk with the JNV project on GitHub. Think of JNV as the GPS for your JSON journey, making sense of those twisty data paths with the grace of a seasoned explorer. This nifty tool is like a compass pointing towards clarity in the sometimes murky world of JSON. For developers juggling tons of JSON data, JNV is the trusty sidekick you didn't know you needed. It transforms the chaos of braces and brackets into a neatly laid out map that you can navigate with ease. Diving into JNV, you're greeted with an interactive viewer that lays out your JSON data like an open book. It's like having a secret decoder that highlights, clarifies, and demystifies every nook and cranny of your JSON files. You'll see your data come alive with colors that make keys pop out and values shine, ensuring you never miss a beat. But JNV isn't just a pretty face. It comes equipped with a slick editor for JQ filters, which is like having a magic wand at your fingertips. You can wave goodbye to manual data extraction as JNV lets you conjure up precise results from your JSON data with minimal fuss. The cherry on top, JNV is flexible like an acrobat. It doesn't matter where your JSON is coming from. Paste it in, upload a file, or fetch it from a URL. JNV handles it all with the poise of a seasoned gymnast. JNV is for those who crave simplicity but don't want to skimp on power. It's for the code wizards and the newcomers alike, providing a user-friendly interface that doesn't skimp on functionality. Whether you're knee-deep in development or taking your first steps into coding, JNV makes sure JSON navigation is a walk in the park. In short, JNV is the lighthouse in the stormy seas of JSON data. If you've been looking for a tool that lets you handle JSON with the elegance of a maestro, look no further. JNV is your beacon of simplicity in the complex world of code. 
project number six, Embedded App SDK. Welcome to the future of Discord interactions with the Embedded App SDK, a revolutionary toolkit brought to you by Discord itself. Imagine transforming your Discord server into a playground of interactive activities and games that bring your community together like never before. This toolkit is like a magic wand for developers, enabling you to conjure up multiplayer games and social experiences directly within Discord. No more jumping between apps. With the embedded app SDK, your server becomes the ultimate destination for engagement and fun. The embedded app SDK focuses on creating activities. These are not just any activities, but multiplayer experiences that users can enjoy together right within their favorite Discord server. From trivia games to collaborative art projects, the possibilities are as limitless as your imagination. Getting started with the Embedded App SDK is a breeze. You develop your activity as a web application using familiar tools, and the SDK bridges your creation with the Discord client. It's like building a bridge between your creativity and the Discord community, ensuring a seamless experience for users. One of the SDK's superpowers is its ability to create multiplayer experiences. This means you can design activities that aren't just fun, but also foster interaction and collaboration within your community. Whether it's a competitive puzzle game or a cooperative storytelling session, the Embedded App SDK brings users together in a shared experience. Moreover, the SDK offers smooth integration with Discord, ensuring your activities feel like an integral part of the platform. This close-knit integration enhances user experience, making your games and activities feel right at home within Discord. For developers eager to tap into the vibrant Discord community, the Embedded App SDK is your ticket to creating engaging, interactive experiences. It's perfect for those looking to add a dash of fun to their servers or explore new ways to engage with their community. In essence, the Embedded App SDK by Discord opens a new realm of possibilities for server engagement. It's not just a tool, it's a gateway to enriching your Discord server with memorable, shared experiences that bring your community closer. So, gear up and unleash your creativity. The Discord Playground is waiting. Project number seven, Request Steam. Dive into the world of web development with Request, a Rust library designed to simplify the task of making HTTP requests. Created by Sean Monstar, Request is like a Swiss army knife for developers working in the Rust ecosystem, enabling easy and efficient communication with web servers. Imagine you're building a Rust application that needs to fetch data from the internet, whether it's weather updates, stock prices, or social media feeds. Request comes to your rescue by providing a straightforward way to send requests to and receive responses from web servers. This tool abstracts away the complexities of HTTP communications, making it accessible even to those new to web development. One of the standout features of Request is its user-friendly API, which supports both synchronous, blocking, and asynchronous, non-blocking operations. This flexibility allows you to choose the best approach based on your application's needs, ensuring efficient data handling and a responsive user experience. Request also shines in its support for various data formats, whether you're dealing with JSON, form data, or multi-part file uploads, Request has got you covered. This versatility makes it an invaluable tool in the toolbox of any Rust developer working with web APIs. Furthermore, Request is highly customizable, allowing you to tweak how your requests are made. From setting headers and cookies to handling redirects and proxies, Request offers a range of options to fine-tune your HTTP requests. This level of control ensures that your application can interact with web services in the most efficient manner possible. In summary, Request by Sean Monstar is a powerful and flexible library that significantly eases the process of making HTTP requests in Rust applications. It combines ease of use with a deep level of customization, catering to both beginners and experienced developers alike. Whether you're building a simple data fetching utility or a complex web service client, Request provides the features and performance you need to succeed. Project number eight, Job Iteration API. Introducing the Job Iteration API from Shopify, a revolutionary tool that transforms the way developers handle long-running background jobs in Ruby on Rails applications. With the rise of e-commerce and online services, efficiently managing background tasks has become a critical aspect of web development. Shopify's Job Iteration API provides a robust solution to this challenge, ensuring that jobs can be paused, resumed, and efficiently managed without losing progress. The genius behind the Job Iteration API lies in its innovative approach to job processing. 
Traditional background jobs run the risk of being interrupted by deployments, server restarts, or exceeding time limits, potentially leading to incomplete tasks and data inconsistencies. The Job Iteration API addresses these issues by implementing checkpoints within jobs, allowing them to resume from the last saved state. This feature not only enhances the reliability of background processing, but also optimizes resource usage by minimizing the need to restart jobs from the beginning. Designed as an extension for the active job library in Ruby on Rails, the Job Iteration API seamlessly integrates into existing Rails applications, providing a familiar environment for developers. This compatibility ensures a smooth adoption process, allowing teams to quickly benefit from improved job management capabilities. Using the Job Iteration API, developers can create jobs that are interruptible by design. This means that jobs are built to handle interruptions gracefully, ensuring that processing can continue smoothly once the job is resumed. Whether processing large data sets, performing bulk updates, or executing time-consuming tasks, the Job Iteration API provides the flexibility and control needed to manage background jobs effectively. The benefits of using the Job Iteration API extend beyond improved job reliability. By facilitating more efficient job management, it allows developers to focus on creating feature-rich applications without being bogged down by the complexities of background processing. The ability to pause and resume jobs also enables better handling of resource-intensive tasks, ensuring that applications remain responsive and performant. In conclusion, Shopify's Job Iteration API represents a significant advancement in background job processing for Ruby on Rails applications. Its focus on job resiliency, combined with the ease of integration and compatibility with the active job library, makes it an essential tool for developers looking to enhance the reliability and efficiency of their background tasks. With the Job Iteration API, managing long-running jobs becomes a more manageable and streamlined process, paving the way for smoother and more robust web applications. And that wraps up our journey through some of the most innovative dev tools designed to supercharge your productivity and elevate your development work to the next level. Remember, the right tool can not only simplify your tasks, but also inspire new ways of thinking and solving problems. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more insights into tools that can transform your development experience. Let's keep building amazing things together.